wealth matters. Wealth matters. Wealth is going to be a part of your journey as an entrepreneur. Wealth is going to dictate how much impact you have, and not just wealth of money, but wealth of time, wealth of love. Some of you know that in 2010, I stepped away from school teaching. I had a calling, this thing called Women Rocking Business. It was a crazy thing. I didn't know how to go about building this thing. But I knew that I was going to have to develop some new beliefs about success and money because I had always earned my money as a school teacher. I come from a long line of school teachers. As a child, my family didn't have much money growing up. In fact, we had some limiting beliefs around rich people as a family, and we used to make fun of them. And so you can imagine, as I became an entrepreneur, there were a lot of parts of me that needed attention and that had a lot of things to say. Because how do we go and acquire money if that would put us in a category that our family made fun of? for my entire childhood. And as my business started to actually work, and as I started creating wealth and serving clients, my goal was just to be able to pay the bills. But what happened was a lot of women needed the medicine that we were offering here. And as it grew, I had to face the limiting beliefs that I could feel were holding me back from allowing it to grow at the rate that it wanted to grow. Raise your hand if you're aware that you have some beliefs that might be holding you back from success that you'd be interested in working on this week. I want to put a stake in the ground that no matter what you grew up with, you know that your mission is here for you and for your future clients and for you. It's here for who, please? It's here for you. It's here for you. The second belief that I had to overcome was that if others are doing it and they're doing it well, why should I bother? My very first three-day event where I was opening doors to my year-long program, I had 80 people coming. And then I found out that my colleague and mentor and friend Suzanne Falter Barnes was hosting a spiritual marketing quest the exact same weekend, an hour away from my event. And I was convinced that at least half the people in my event would go to her event instead. But guess what? Not one person chose to go to her event. All 80 women came to my event. And guess what? 22 of them enrolled in my year-long program. And laughing with Suzanne a few weeks later over a gin and tonic, we got to share how silly we are in our minds. If you ever have that come up in your mind that somebody's already doing it, or somebody else planned a webinar for the same day as you, or somebody else planned a launch the same time as you, or Tony Robbins put his big event the same week as yours, say it out loud with me, my people will find me. The third belief that I had to overcome is that it's going to be a hell of a lot of work. <laughs> and what I have found over the last decade of building Women Rocking Business is that we are going to work whether we build a business or we are going to work whether we choose something else in life. And it is a hell of a lot of work to not feel like you're on purpose it is a hell of a lot of work to feel like you're perpetually searching, and it's a hell of a lot of work to be broke. <laughs> and so I want to put a stake in the ground right here, right now, that we redefine our relationship with work, that we say yes to the work that is finding us, that we remember that we are going to find like-minded souls to support us on the journey. Give me a yes if you're willing to do this work. And so, the first belief that we are going to overcome this week is that even though it can feel scary to be more successful than your family, and for some of you it might feel scary just because your career looks so different than the way your family created success. Who's picking up what I'm laying down? 
I want to remind you that this is not about your family. This is about you. This is about your relationship with your maker. This is about you and your higher self realizing your full potential in this life. And I want to invite you to remember that very few people get the honor of actually achieving some level of their full potential in this life. And if that is something that you're committed to, Women Rocking Business is committed to you. I want to invite you to ask, how can I be of the most service? How can I be of the most service? Number two belief that we're going to help you overcome is if others are doing it, why should I? And my invitation to you is to remember that this truly is part of a bigger path of self-actualization that you are on. Can I have an uh uh-huh? Number three belief that we are going to be working with this week is that this can seem like it's a lot of work. But I want to remind you that my grandpa told me that you can choose work in this life that you love and you'll never work another day in your life. And that when we're at the end of this thing, when we're taking our last breath, the discipline that we called upon to show up for that which we committed to is going to weigh ounces in our heart but those regrets of what we didn't do will weigh tons. Don't forget to hit subscribe so I can keep getting you weekly content to grow your business that is relevant, authentic, and effective so you can get out there and shine your light and be the messenger that you're here to be because your clients are waiting for you.